I've had this Eagle Mike fork brace for a, I guess a couple weeks now and I want to do a review on it uh, I just haven't ridden off road with it yet to get a feel for how that is some people say it makes it front suspension too harsh I don't uh, I don't see that being a problem uh, look at all this gravel in the road I don't see that being a problem for this thing I don't know if this uh, got progressive springs in the front But as far as on the street, I like it a lot, especially uh, mostly under hard braking. Uh, this thing's got the oversized rotor with a Suzuki SV650 or SV caliper and a stainless steel line, so the front, front brake's really strong. I've never ridden a 650 KLR with a stock front brake, but I did have a uh, KLR 250 with a stock brake, and it was, uh, I wouldn't even say it was adequate, it was pretty pitiful. I didn't have that 250 long, I ended up trading it for this bike. But uh, I like the little 250, I wouldn't mind having another one. But the front brake I would definitely have to do something with because it was, it was dangerous on the highway anyhow. Biggest difference I can tell with, with uh, this fork brace on the street is the under hard braking and say uh, it responds quicker as soon as I push on the bars it changes direction so it takes that little bit of flex out and just responds quicker when you counter steer so I definitely recommend it if you do a lot of street riding and I'll have to uh, get off road and see how it does uh, I might do it this evening but I kind of doubt it go test it out and see what the fuss is about as far as off road the harshness of the front suspension I also think somebody said it and it, it'll bottom out up in your you know it'll max out the travel and hit your fender. I hadn't lowered the front fender on this thing. I kind of want to. I just hadn't ordered one and hadn't completely decided if I want to do it or not. I think I do. Especially here lately man. I've been doing a bunch of riding on the street with this thing. As far as the build quality on this thing, it's uh, it's top notch. Eagle Mike fork brace. Uh, uh, it's you couldn't ask for any better quality, which I think is the uh, norm with Eagle Mike. The only thing I bought from him is uh, the big board kit, the 685 kit, and the doohickey and this fork brace is all I can think of that I bought from him. But if you ordered from him, you definitely don't have to worry about the quality of the product he's selling. From what I can tell from the stuff I have, 
from uh, KLR page, Facebook pages. Uh, I hadn't seen a bad word about any of his products, and that's rare. Usually there's somebody at least crying because uh, they think something's bad because they installed it wrong or, or whatever. I rode out here to test this Eagle Mike fork brace for the KLR to see if it's true about it makes the uh, front fork too stiff for off-road use. I hadn't been coming out here because it's hunting season. But uh, I decided to come on and do it do this so I can see how it does off-road. I still got the, uh, I didn't let air out of the tire like I normally do off-road. It's going to be moving around a little more. how many hunters are out here. Basically, I'm going to have to, uh, I ain't going to say call BS on the making the forks too stiff or off-road, but, uh, just going down gravel, washed out roads, uh, dirt roads with potholes and all that, at speed, the bike still does fine, and handles a considerable amount better on the highway. So if you're riding off-road and you do some street riding too and want the fork brace, I'd say go ahead and get it. I'm happy, definitely happy on pavement. And off-road it's no port brace. Eagle Mike, easy to mount, didn't take 10 minutes, had it on there. 
that should uh, should let you know it's fine to run off road no issue whatsoever thanks for watching like and uh, subscribe if you hadn't I just hit just hit over 150 subscribers which is cool uh, and thanks for watching